Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you see behind me, I have all my decor out and I am trying to get it all kind of like pieced together and put in different rooms so that I can make videos for the channel. But um, yes, yesterday I received mail and it was one of my um, Bradford Exchange um, Hawthorne Harry Potter villages and this is one I've been waiting for for a while um, so I have been collecting these villages for because it's like a whole series and they send them out if, every month or every other month and you can actually get them in partial payments where basically they take like I think it's like $37.99 out and then they do it again don't quote me on that um, but yes, it's it's somewhere around that price range. They take it out when they ship it to you. And then the next month, they'll take out that out of your account again. So it pays for the whole um, village um, or each piece that gets shipped in the series. And yes, this is how it comes in the styrofoam like this. Um, I did notice a little bit of damage right here, but the styrofoam is pretty protective. And I thought I would open it up with you guys today in front of you guys as I got it. Also, too, I will be doing a full review on the full village and giving you guys more of a detailed look of it once we get everything, excuse me, everything and um, together here with our decor and everything. Because I have been going through a lot and I've been also making a donation. Excuse me, I like cut the burps really bad. Ooh, protein shake. Okay. So, and also too, I will be basically uh, making a box for, you know, just to kind of give to, you know, to uh, Goodwill or basically to donate as I'm going along. Anyways, so I thought I would open this up with you guys and show you the Weasley Village and the Weasley Twins. Um, not the Weasley Village. Oh my goodness, you guys. I cannot word. So please forgive me. No, it's actually the Weasley's um, third little shop. And it comes like this with a cellophane. You also get your little, like, um, information package right here that has your address on, which we're not going to show. And you basically take this part off, and I'm going to open it. Now, I save all my styrofoam boxes because this is, if you need to repack. I do keep my village up all year long. I put it in my, um, my little... Um, what is it? It's like a little curio cabinet that I have because I really do enjoy my village a lot. And so I'm going to open it with you guys and you're going to see it for the first time together. And I've been really excited to get this one. So oh, I love it. Okay. So I've already gotten all of the hogs need. Um, one and then I have also gotten all of like I've already gotten like the castle and all that so that's how it comes you guys just like this well, that's really cute okay so this is what it looks like just like that, guys. There's not any detail, unfortunately, in the windows. I'm a little bummed about that. Like, they should have did details in the windows, but that's okay. And then underneath, it actually shows you, like, it gives you the number. Um, you get the Hawthorne Village, and it tells you that you need, like, triple A's. And it says Weasley Wizards Weezes. And it's the Harry Potter Village Collection. It gives you all that. Jeez, that glare. I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, so yeah, it gives you sub sub yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes like I said, I cannot word, y'all. So yeah, it gives you kind of all the information at the bottom and where you can put in your they are run by um batteries. That's the only thing I found to be kind of a bum about them. I was really hoping that they are just like you put the plug, um, like the bulb underneath. Unfortunately, they are not like that. I was hoping they would be that way, but Maybe they can upscale them. Who knows? But yes, I'm in love with this. And then also, too, they give you, if you look like, like right in the little kitey hole thing, they give you the twins. Yay! I'm so excited to get the twins. 
there's what they look like i'm really excited to get this this was um one of the bigger ones that i wanted so the ones i wanted the most of the village were haggard's hut um the castle and um haggard's hut the castle honey dukes and the joke shop these were like my big main ones that i was really excited to get the rest i was excited to get too because i did so yes this is like my 14th um piece to the village um i've probably gotten this far in the last i want to say in the last i think i've been collecting these for like two years three years maybe I know it's been a while and I know it's like piece by piece they send them to you as they produce them and as people order they do do you know the whole like who orders first so yes I'm excited to have them I really enjoy all of them and I will do a full review of all the pieces where you guys can see in detail and better lighting because I forgot to turn the light on. So this is not a good. Let's see. Let's turn this on. Okay. My light doesn't want to work. Oh, that's really bright. All right. So, yeah. So I will do this more in detail, piece by piece, better lighting a lot more of my decor done and yes i'm excited to get this piece i just wanted to share this with you guys because if you have not looked into getting the village if you're skeptical about it as you can see this is my head and this is how big it is um and if i can find batteries i'll actually put batteries in it and i'll show you what it looks like um, with batteries in it but it does come with a little like mini screw it's in the bottom of it and let me see if I can. It helps to, uh, to keep the, I guess, the batteries in. I did receive one that didn't have this on it, but it takes so long for them to come in. I, like, did not want to complain about it. So, I didn't want to complain and, ha you know, have to do the whole reordering thing. I did have an episode when I moved. Um they did send it to the wrong location but i was fortunate that nobody moved in yet and i still had the key to the mailbox and was able to collect my lovely thing so like i said it's gonna be triple a batteries that it, you're going to need and i know i bought some so let me find them real fast is that no uh, i need to find some I bought um, batteries from the Dollar Tree, and you guys are going to find them. My son even came in here and, like, it's kind of looking, but not. He's digging through his own crap, but anyways. Um, I know I see those, but I know I bought some. Do you see them anywhere? No, not really. <gasps> I found them! Found them? Okay. Oh, and Dylan wanted to share with you guys his, you know, his stocking. He was so excited to get his stocking. I just thought I would put that in there, too. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. So, I'm a hot mess, y'all. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I got some batteries. We're gonna put the batteries in. I'll show you guys what this looks like. This is more like a vlog than anything. I might have to say, like, a mini vlog. So, excuse my hot messness and my house is like it looks like christmas threw up all over it it's amazing and today i even went to um and which actually i'll have a film on that so i went to big lots because i had to get like the base some basic stuff um kitty litters and um i needed kitty litters and some kitty food and i needed Oh, I need some extension cords and another thing of lights for the tree because my tree actually, like, so it was pre-lit. We've had this tree probably for six or seven years now. And, yeah, the pre-lit, all those went bad and I couldn't figure it out. So I just took them off and now we just kind of, um, we kind of wrap it ourselves with our own lights. But a lot of my lights were dead 
and um, I was given some lights, but they seem to be dead too. So I had to go buy a pack of like $3.99 lights, which I wasn't like complaining because I was so excited they were only $3.99. But um, yeah, so the lights that were like $3.99 was $140. It was $140 strand. And I was excited about that, so I got that, believe it or not. But you're going to see a vlog of all the different, like, um, decor that they have at um, Big Lots. I was really impressed. Every year, like, they have really stepped up their game. And it was really inexpensive decor. Like, I was, like, really, really, in the, really, really impressed. And I took, like, full film of it so you guys could see and hopefully for those that um that do not have the opportunity to get out or maybe you can't because of your immune system right now because of coronavirus i hope it helps those type of people or people that just want to get an idea of okay where do i need to shop for my decor this year so anyways this is what it looks like lit up and let me see if i can't take this light and bring it down like a notch Let's see let's turn it off so you can see okay so this is what it looks like all lit up it even has its little like flat back door and little all that gets lit up and then here's your little switch for on and off so yes I love it I've been waiting for this forever and a day now so I'm excited to get this piece I did put all the village up here but I really want to put it in my um, entertainment center. So I think that's where I'll put it all because there are so many like little places I can like make little scenes. So I think that's what I'm going to do with it instead of have it on top of this, the mantle. And then I think I'm going to do the mantle with owls and such. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I know I did take my village and put it on top like my regular village, which I only had like four or five pieces to that um, I did put that like on top of my entertainment center but yes this is what it looks like lit up and I will do a full review if you like to see on um, my Bradford Harry Potter village I always wanted to have a village but I was not like sure really if I wanted a village and then when they came out with this from Bradford exchange and had like the easy pay where you basically pay like I said, you pay only like half um, when they ship and then half the next, the other half. So it's the full. So I want to say these are probably like $60, maybe a little more piece, no doubt. Like they are pretty um, expensive. They're like a resin, maybe a plastic because they're kind of light, but they take a while to get to you, but it's totally worth it in my eyes because there are no villages that I know that are out there that are like these ones. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, hearing me rant, and seeing my craziness all in one. Oh, and if you're interested in getting one of these sweaters, I got mine in a large, so it's, and it's juniors, and it's huge on me. Like, even Dylan's like, mom, it's kind of big. Um... But if you're, like, interested in getting the sweater that I have on, go check out your local Walmart. I do believe I got it for, like, 17 bucks, but it is really cute. It kind of reminds me of, like, 80s. It has such an 80s vibe to it. And like I said, this is a junior, and I got it in a large, so it's pretty big. So, totally up to y'all what size. I wanted it to be kind of big so I could do like this and just kind of keep warm and cozy around the house. And it's just so old school looking to me. But yes, $17, guys. Alright, so anyways, thank you guys. If you like what you see, give me a subscribe, like, and share. And you guys take care. And hopefully next time, I won't have this hot mess that I have behind me. Thanks, guys. Bye.